if there is one thing that God seeks, God wants from us, is most our hearts than anything else we can do. God is not moved by any service we render to Him. He's not moved by us going to church. He's not moved by the offerings we give. He's not moved by the tithe we pay. He's not moved by the churches we build. He's moved by the hearts that are surrendered to Him. That's what makes us children of God. You cannot call Him Father until your heart aligns with him hallelujah that's what makes us children of god and in this end time we have always to remember this god is looking for the children that are obedient the bible gives a story of two children that the father sent they were all his children but he calls the first one and he sent the son and said go and do this the son says i will do it but he did not do then he calls the second one and said go and do it that's what i said i'm busy but at the end of the day, he went and did it. And Jesus asked a question, say, who's up between the two, the father we love the most? is the one who did the will of God, not the one who said he would do. So declaring the word of God without doing it does not make you a child of God. It's doing the word of God that makes you a child of God. Don't just think it's by the scriptures that we quote and by you vibrating where you are that makes you a child of God, that gives you power to overcome challenges or brings things down from the hand of God to your hand or forces the devil to let you know, your body go, your health go. It does not work like that. We need really to align with Him. And again, I was saying in this end time, God is looking for children who are obedient to serve Him and bring more those are lost in the kingdom. Not out of duty, but out of love because it's part of your life. It's part of your life as a child of God. It gave them power to become those who believe in. Believe is not feeling in your heart. Believe is obeying God. When you believe in something, you do it. Today, we live in an internet world, right? In the social media world, and social media is impacting the world drastically that even TV and radio are left behind, newspapers are left behind. And you see everyone who can create content they're out there with information and we are more lenient in following the information that are in the social network than following the information that's in the Bible. I'm not against posting things, but as a child of God, you know, you owe it first to the, to the Word of God than to the world. And every time you, you, you want to make decisions, make steps, you need to find out does it align with the Word of God or it's aligned with what is trending now around me or on the social media. It's very, very important that we, we go that way. And one of the things that should be trending in the kingdom at this time is soul winning, is bringing the souls that are lost back to the kingdom of God. Because that's what God wants, his lost children to come back to him. Beyond our praises, beyond our worship, beyond the time we spend in church screaming and shouting, God wants us to bring all that are lost back to him. I said it again, that's one of the reasons why this broadcast uh, is here. So if you have a chance to click on the share button down there, it's not because you want to share my face. It, it doesn't really matter to me. It's because you just want to tell somebody, come, let's come together. Let's join the praises of God. Let's go and be impacted and imparted by our Father so that we go out there and also impact many to come in the kingdom of God. Now that's really where our blessing is. It's not by quoting scriptures, it's by doing the scriptures. 